All right, Shalawam, Shalawam, Yasharala. Back at it with another GMS lesson to the spirit of Papi Hal, Bashim Yashah, Bashim Kakutash. Lord's Buddha is edifying. Before I go any further, I want to give our honor and our glory and our praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and other bishops of Great Billstone who still go out there in the highways and hedges and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel, Shalom, Alabakoyim, Wabarakim, Shayasharala which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the last one Kodash, the Hebrew tongue. You know, and this lesson is going to be pretty much going on how loyal Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorant calls God, I mean, who the world ignorant calls Jesus Christ, is, is our foundation, man. We hear a great millstone. Starting off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops, uh, on down, man. You see? Because everything that we say, we back it up with the scriptures, man. And we live these scriptures to the best of our abilities in our day-to-day -day lives. So, uh, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and bring this one out first. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 7. Let's see, verse 24. This is Matthew 7 to 24. This is Lord Yahweh Shah speaking. It says, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, see, being a hearer and as a doer, man, you know, having that faith as well as that works, right? You know? Because that proves that you love Yahweh Bashim Yahweh because Lord, loving the Lord is keeping the commandments, right? It says, I will liken unto him. It's like I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. You see that solid foundation, which is what Yahweh Shai. You see? So that's what Yahweh Shai compared those who was applying these scriptures, you know, who may, uh, you know, this live in their life according to what the words say, which is Lord Yahweh Shah. And he reads on, and it says, and the winds, this, it's like, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. You see, it had, it had the foundation on, you know, a solid foundation, which is what Yahweh Shah. So those that are of the elect, because that's who he's referring to, during a time when that heavy uh, tribulation come, they're not going to fold, man. And we're hoping to be a part of that number. Those are the ones that's going to make or have that firm foundation, man. Stand firm, even if they have to lose their life for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh, for the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, right? You know? And it says, uh, verse 26, is that everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not, like these false teachers and leaders, man, you know, that say that they serve in the Lord, but uh, they, they they ain't doing what the Lord told them to do, man. You see? So this is what I always shall uh, compare them unto. It says, and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. You see, which is going to those lies, man. These false uh, teachings, man. You know? Saying that the MOTB is not the CHIP, you know, and telling their congregation that it's all right to take it, you know, that's 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 their, uh, their house upon the sand, man. That's not, a that's not a solid foundation, right? It says verse 27, and it says, or it's saying that it's... Uh, John 3, 16, saying that it's an embargo, okay, saying that it's sleeping with so-called white women, you know, because they, that's a, that's a, um, that's a heavier main prophecy, man, that's going to happen in the very near future, right? The inmate, the, the, in, the mandate of the CHIP, it says, and the rain descended and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house. And it fell, which is what? The house of Saul, man. You know, just like how I said in Samuel's, how the house of David grew stronger and stronger. And the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker, man. It's going to be the same thing in these times, man. Those who had their foundation upon that sin, a.k.a. those who were of the house of Saul, hey, they ain't going to last, man. It's like Saul and his crew, he, they didn't last, all right? The, the Lord sifted them out, man. The Lord deleted them. 
It says, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And the and great was the fall of it. You see? So pretty much, hey man, that confounded, man. You know? Because they, they wasn't teaching the truth, man. So now we're gonna go from there. Let's hit some more of these precepts. Then I'm gonna bring out a definition. As a matter of fact, um, let's see, let's go and break out the definition now. This definition of the foundation, it says usually a stone or concrete structure that supports a building from underneath. So, you know, we're we're that you know that spiritual building, right? You know, the house of David, Lord's willing. You know, so that 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 that, that concrete or that solid foundation, which is Yahweh Shah. You know, when that persecution, when that that, that, that that great tribulation comes, man, hey, the elect is going to stay, stay ten toes down, man. While the house of Saul, a.k.a. the two-thirds, they're going to fold, man. They didn't get deleted by the Lord. However, the Lord sees fit. So now let's go from there. So I can page to flip it. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. This is 1 Corinthians 3, verse 9. It says, For we are laborers together with Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. Ye are Yahweh Bashem Yahushah's husbandry, okay, planter. Okay, it says, uh, Ye are Yahweh Bashem Yahushah's building. You see, and who is that ye? Ye is the body, man, okay? The brotherhood, the elect, man. You see, it says, ye are laborers together with Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. That's the one that works, man. When we go out there on the highways and hedges and also making these videos on the internet, man, for the edification of the elect. You know, that's us laboring for Yahweh Bashem Yahushah, you know? And what are we planting, you know, through the Spirit, man, you know? Us teaching this word, man, you know? And the end of the elect that hears the word, the Lord is going to make that seed grow, you know? Which is the Lord's gonna make that under, make them understand, like the Lord did for us. So I'm gonna read this one more time. This is the book of First Corinthians three and nine. It says, "For we are laborers together with Yahweh Bashem Shah. Ye are Yahweh Bashem Shah's husbandry, seed planter, farmer." Okay. It says, "Ye are Yahweh Bashem Shah's building." You know, which is what? You know, the, the brotherhood, man. You know, starting off with the head of apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone on down. Um, as a matter of fact, let's see. Let's let's bring this one out. This is Psalms 1 verse 3. Hold on. This is Psalms. Yeah, Psalms chapter 1 verse 3. Go straight to the point. It says, and he shall be likened. It's like a, he shall be like a tree. Planted by the water, by the rivers of water, which is what this knowledge is wisdom and understanding, right? Because of uh, living waters is constantly flowing, so never stop learning, right? That's how we are in this truth. It says that bring forth his fruit, more brothers. It says in his season, his leaf also shall not wither. It says, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper right in this truth because we're, we're fearing the lord and keeping his commandments man like it says in the scriptures if you do what's well pleasing unto the lord then you're going to have good success and you're going to prosper man so by us serving the lord you know hey that's why you know much fruit has been added to great millstone man you know starting off with the head of apostles elder bishops of great millstone on down man and it says that his leaf shall not wither meaning won't fall out the truth because of that solid foundation that, that was built upon it, man. You see? And also, ultimately, being a member of the elect. You know? It says, uh, matter of fact, verse 4, just to bring out a balance, it says, but the, the ungodly are not so, but are like the chaff which the wind drive for waves. So the Lord is going to delete them, man. Those are the false teachers and leaders. You know what I'm saying? Especially those who know that they're Israelites, but they're teaching lies. You know what I'm saying? The ages, they all going to get deleted, man. By Yahweh, by Shemiah, and Shah. They ain't going to prosper. They going to fail. Because they're, they're workers of men. It's going to come to naught. So now, let's break out some more precepts.
Let's go to uh first Peter. Let's see, let's go to this one. Like this. This is first Peter. Make sure it's the right one. First Peter chapter two, verse four. It says, To whom coming, like a to whom coming as unto a living a living stone. Disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of Yahweh. Bashim Yahushah in precious, which the word indeed, it's like a disallowed it indeed of, in my sword it says rejected indeed by, and that's what Lord Yahushah was when he was on the scene. He was rejected by the majority of our people, and guess what? So are we, man, you know, because the Lord called uh, chosen us out of this world, right? So we're not into the wickedness that the two thirds of our people are into, man. It says, verse five, it says, ye. Possess a pronoun also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house in the holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Yahweh Bashim Yahushah by Yahweh Shah. See, making our living by as a living sacrifice, we'll go out there on the highways and hedges. You know, it's pretty much us doing the work, man. You know. Us risking our freedom and our time to uh, do the work and doing what's well pleasing to Yahweh by Hashem Shah. You see, the brotherhood, man, the elect, the governing body, you know, which we're hoping to be a part of that number. Lord's willing. Lord's willing, we do it, we endure it to the end. So now, let's bring out one more. This is the book of Ephesians. I don't have to chime in on that. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 20. Yep, this is Ephesians 2 and 20. The Apostle Paul talking to the Israelites in Ephesus. It says, it says, uh, matter of fact, I'll start at verse 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints, the Israelites, and of the household of Yahweh Bashem Yahushah. It says, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles, which is what? The uh, the solid foundation. If I don't have to chime in on that, which is what? Yahweh Shah. You see, starting with, you know, Elder Abba Bivens, man. You see? You know, the elders are taught our apostles and the elders and apostles, you know what I'm saying? Elder bishops on down, man. It says, and you are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Yahweh Shah himself being the chief cornerstone in whom all the building fitly framed, meaning joint, is perfectly joined together. It says, uh, groweth unto an holy temple in the Lord in whom ye also are built together for an inhabitation or dwelling place of Yahweh Bashem Shah through the spirit, man. You see? Through the Holy Spirit, man, which is by the word, man. You see, the, the word has guided us together. Now we're fellow laborers doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Shah to the best of our abilities, you know? So, hey, Lord's willing to be a part of the elect. And Lord's willing, this is edifying. Lord's willing, to next time I say, Shalom.